Hey everybody, Kyle at Hilly Ridge Sales and Service here. It's starting to get cold in central Pennsylvania, as I'm sure you have a lot of tools in your arsenal at home that could stand to be winterized. Today we're gonna to take a look at one of those, your pressure washer, and we're gonna take a look at how to winterize the pump on your pressure washer so that when you go to get it out in the spring that everything will be working as it should. Okay, so we're gonna be working on a Hustler pressure washer today. And what we're gonna do is we're going to install some steel pressure washer pump conditioner, which I have right here with me. And what this does is it's going to get rid of that water that's in the pump and it's going to make it so that that pump won't freeze if the pressure washer is left uh, outside or in a garage or someplace where the temperature gets below freezing. So we're gonna install this into the pump and that'll flush that water out uh, and keep that pump from freezing. So if you don't wanna use a conditioner to winterize the pump in your pressure washer, it's not necessary that you do. But you definitely will want to keep that pressure washer someplace where the temperature does not drop below 32 degrees. Additionally, you'll want to make sure that you remove the wand from the hose and the hose from the pump so that if there's any residual water left over in either the wand or the hose, that water has a place to escape. I've already gone ahead and done, done that in advance where I've already disconnected the hose from the wand so that any water that's left over can run out. As you can see there, there is some water left over in that hose. So we'll go ahead and set that off to the side before we move on to the next step of installing the conditioner into the pump. So before working with the steel pump conditioner, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a pair of gloves and a pair of safety glasses. Not only is the steel pump conditioner good for uh, cold weather storage, it also helps to preserve seals and pistons. It also helps to prevent harmful buildup of hard water mineral deposits. And it also helps to protect the pressure washer when it's not in use for an extended storage. So to open up the bottle, to get it ready to be installed into the pump, you're gonna to wanna to unscrew the top and then remove the foil seal, which I already did and then just tighten that down so it's snug. And then you can open up the top cap and then you can see that there is a shut off valve in there that opens and closes the bottle. So the first thing then that you'll wanna do is we'll come over to the pressure washer and we're going to install the bottle onto the pressure washer at your hose inlet. Additionally, I have a rag here because what we're gonna do is once we open up the bottle and we start to work the uh, conditioner through the pump, right here, we're gonna have water and then the conditioner come out through your hookup for your hose, for your wand. So once you have the, the bottle hooked up, you can go ahead, hook up your, or open the valve on the conditioner itself and then what you'll do is you'll squeeze the conditioner. We'll also, with the on switch turned in the off position, we will pull as if we were going to start the unit. And there you can see we had some water start to come out. And we'll continue to squeeze and pull. Until you have water stop and you start getting conditioner flowing through the pump. And there I'm starting to see pink. And you want to make sure that everything that comes out as you're doing this is conditioner. One last time. There we go. And we can shut that off. And as you saw, we had the water come out first and then the conditioner. So now you can go ahead and you can remove the conditioner from the pressure washer. Just like that. And your pump is all ready 
to be stored then for the winter. So one other thing that you want to consider when winterizing your pressure washer is the type of fuel that's in it. We do have another video on our Hilly Ridge YouTube page that is exclusively about winterizing small engines. I'll leave a link to that video below so that you can check that out and see how to winterize the fuel system if that's something that you need to do or are concerned about. All right, thanks for watching this episode of Hilly Ridge How To. I hope you were able to learn something about how to winterize the pump on your pressure washer. Again, if you haven't checked out our uh, Hilly Ridge YouTube page, we do have a lot of other videos on there uh, that you can check out and see a lot of other how-to videos. Um, again, we do appreciate you tuning into this video. Thanks again. God bless. Have a great day.